Hey everyone, we had an opportunity to sit down with Barbara Phillips, founder of Nurse Practitioner Business Owner, and talk with her about Medicare participating versus non-participating status, what that means, what assignment is, why a nurse practitioner must accept assignment, what those amounts look like, and more. Check it out. Hi, I'm Barbara C. Phillips, and I'm the founder of Nurse Practitioner Business Owner, and I've been working with nurse practitioners on the business of healthcare since 2007. And I am here today to ask Don some questions because there's been some confusions with nurse practitioners about being a participating or a non-participating provider with Medicare. So Don, can you tell us what is a participating and a non-participating provider? What does that actually mean? A participating provider has agreed to file all claims for all services, covered services that they render to Medicare, but be patients on an assigned basis. That means that they're accepting assignment on it. Where a non-participating provider may select on a claim-by-claim basis when they want to accept assignment and when they do not want to accept assignment. For instance, they may accept assignment on one patient. Ten minutes later, they see another Medicare patient and decide, not to accept assignment. And when we are not accepting assignment, what does that actually mean? I mean, are we, can we charge Medicare more, the patient more? What does that actually mean? When you're not accepting assignment, you're agreeing to build a patient no more than what's called the limiting charge. And that limiting charge is calculated as 115% of the non-participating Medicare allowed amount. And when you do that, Medicare is going to send a check to the patient. They're not going to send the check to you if you decided to not accept assignment on that claim. As a nurse practitioner, the understanding is we have to, we can be non-participating, but we also have to accept assignment. Is that yes, correct? Ma'am. Medicare will only pay for nurse practitioner provided services if they're filed assigned. So that basically means that the nurse practitioner is going to be taking assignment on all the covered services they do. So whenever you stop and think about the fact that the Medicare allowed amount is less as a non-participating provider, 5% less than it is for a participating provider, it doesn't really make sense for a nurse practitioner to be non-participating, in, in my opinion. So if we as nurse practitioners we have that 85% of the physician allowable right now. So if right. Medicare is paying $100, if that's the allowed amount for physicians, we would get 85. So we would still have that discount, if you will, whether we're, partic- whether we're participating or non-participating. Well, let's do the math here for just a moment. Let's say that the physician's allowable on a procedure is $100. Well, that means if the physician was non par then the Medicare allowable on that would be $95. So if the provider is then, the nurse practitioner is filing for that right there, then whether assigned or non-assigned, and whether they're non-participating, and they take assignment on the claim, that means it's going to be 85% of the $95, not 85% of the 100. So my math is not all great in my head right there to be able to calculate what over the top of it, $95 times uh, 85% would be $80.75. And then Medicare is going to pay as a non par assigned 80% of that $80. So it's going to be about $64 payment. So we're, there's absolutely no advantage for a nurse practitioner to be a non-participating provider. Not at all. Not in my opinion, at least not nothing that I can think of right now. Uh, people sit there and say, well, are you, do you have less rules, less restrictions, less appeals, less audits, et cetera, if you're a non-part? No. Medicare can still audit you for everything you're doing, whether you're poor or non poor The advantage of being participating is Medicare lists you in a participating provider handbook. Now, I've been on Medicare a couple of years myself. I've never even looked at that Medicare participating handbook. I don't know if any Medicare patients do it. Uh, so I don't know if there's a real advantage or disadvantage there. Uh, But as far as financially, I cannot think of any benefit to a nurse practitioner uh, of being to to be non-participating. 
Okay. And because it, it's nothing else changes. I mean, you still have all the rules, all the, you're still coding and documenting the same and all of those kinds of things. So there's absolutely no benefit to that. Exactly. And then let's say that you, well, they can't file claims non-assigned. So the limiting charge is even going to apply to them because everything a nurse practitioner does with Medicare has to be assigned. Very good. So I hope that that actually clears all of that up for everybody. And just go ahead, if you're participating with Medicare, just enroll as a participating provider, period. And um, if you choose not to, well, then your best bet is to opt out. But that's a video for another time, which you'll find already on my YouTube channel. And I believe you probably have a video on that as well. Yes, ma'am, I do on our YouTube channel also. All right. Great. So, Don, thank you so much today for answering those questions and setting us straight. You're very welcome. Just do this anytime you would like to. Okay, excellent. Thank you.